Hey, what's up guys and girls of the world? Kevin from Team Cribcraft here for a very special house tour. And as we ring the doorbell, they're gonna let us into this seemingly normal house with a really extravagant walkway. And you can see on the horizon a fountain, which I made all by myself. I think you guys should be pretty proud of me. There's an airplane that Kyle designed up above. And as we come through here and to our right, we see two very eco-friendly cars, Go Green, or whatever the motto is. As we come up, we see a nice GE, which as you can tell by the title is for gay elephants, as our friend Dan Lags would say. But this is for Generation Estate. And this is a house that I've been working on for roughly the past month. And luckily, they didn't do that during the cinematic, so we can either go into the backyard straight away, or the garage, but I'm gonna go straight in here. The little first walk-in room, you kinda take in the scenery, hang your coats over there, and as you can see, there is a indoor pool, which we'll go to in a minute, but first room in the house is a garage, with a, I don't know, I guess like a mini coupe type of car, but that's not what's important here. What is important is the indoor pool. And this is awesome because one of the features on the outside of the house, which I'll point out later in the tour, just kind of makes this possible. But you can see there's like lounge areas. There's an indoor bar here with a beer tap. I like this design a lot. Uh, let's see what else. There's a nice chandelier. And the, sec the second floor overlooks the pool, which I like a lot as well. We're gonna go in here and see that there's a sauna, like the one from Mangled Matter. I took inspiration from that, but what Mangled Matter didn't have was an acupuncture table. So that's kind of what this is supposed to be, you know? Get needles stuck in you and apparently it feels good, I'll never understand it. And right here is the outside porch, with a little picnic area, and a modern grill, which I really like. It took me forever to come up with a design. But we're going to look at the rest of that later, and as we kind of shimmy around the pool, the last few rooms in the first floor are here. We have the kitchen, which was the very last room completed in the house, and this really like modern dining area. Matt helped me with the final chair design. We have this modern fridge, the oven area for cooking food, sink designed via Bubba, link in the description as well as Dan's channel. And we have like this bar area in the kitchen also. So there's two bars on the first floor, which I didn't realize when I was building it, so that's a bit interesting. This leads out to the backyard. I'm not gonna go there yet. And then we have like a locker room right here, which I really like, or like a showers area. And there's another corridor with the showers. And now in here we have our home gym. Only the third one in the world, two of which I own, one in Mangled Matter and one in here. So you have your punching bags, the ellipticals, and or treadmills, like a little sparring mat, the nice TV, the yoga area, and a bench press, which I like a lot. And as we exit this room, you'll see that you haven't really seen a stairway other than the one outside, and the one right here. And these are the only ways to get via the second floor, which I like my mansions and as we walk into the second floor you see the balcony from which you can see a sheep I'm trying to ruin my house tour you see kind of the backyard i'll go into that later and right here we have a, a pool table i don't know why i'm stuttering and a really modern fireplace right here which i like a lot it took me a while to come up with the design there's some bookshelves for ambience and you can see across the whole entire floor and you can see the modern indoor pool again. This is what I'd consider the master bedroom because it has its own walk-in closet and it also has the bedroom, the bed and the TV, a piano with an overhang looking into the kitchen and there's also a water dispenser but and there's also a bathroom in here which is why I consider it the master bedroom and just it's pretty standard sink design, toilet design, but I do like the shower design using this as like a, uh, what's it called, a shower drain. But that's that. And the next room we're going to crawl into is the home 
is a guest bedroom which has an office in it. So the bed's in a kind of awkward positioning, but I kind of like where it is. Because it makes it feel like you're isolated from the rest of the room because of the TV. There's some shelving up there. And right here you have like the office segment with like a nice little modern water feature here. And this is like going to be the each one of us, me, Kyle, and Matt. By the way, this is just like a computer and a desk area with a printer. You know, my standard setup in all my houses. I like the design a lot. But me, Matt, and Kyle are working on one last grand project before the world starts. Or ends, rather. This is the game room. You have your TV area. Your wall. <laughs> that actually threw me off. And then the pinball area. I wonder where Matt's going to appear next. But speaking of Matt and Kyle, which I keep on trying to say as we go down this hallway and you can see my exotic house random video in the end slate so if you want to stick around for the outro um what else there's another bathroom in here the only bathroom in the house if i recall correctly now, this is a really cool shower or no this is a really cool bath i love this bath a lot and i also like this shower a lot as well just a modern feel to it and what I'm trying to say is, me, Kyle, and Matt are both all working on Mega Mansion projects. Kyle's working on Everdeen Estate. Matt's touring the Baskerville Estate within a few days of this video coming out. So that's cool. And the Baskerville Estate is just amazing. Like, I can't say enough good things about that house. Probably the best house in the world. Honestly. Like, Matt has really put his 100% effort into that. And this is just like a little deck area. Again, outlooking things. I have a lot of decks and balconies on this house because I like the design. I think it's Generations Estate style-wise as we go into the master bedroom with the piano, the bedroom, the bookshelves, and the dresser, and the TV. It's kind of like an exotic house, just like my exotic house. Like, I don't consider this modern or traditional, even though it looks like both. A little walk-in closet here. With some planning. Nice window space. So... Look forward to the master projects coming up really soon, guys. That's actually all of the rooms in the house. Time just flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? And there's two ways to go to the V of the backyard. I'm not going to go this way. I'm actually going to turn back, go through here, and go out the kitchen. Because I actually like this segment of the backyard first. The little gazebo I built here. I love the gazebo. It took a while to find a winning design. This is what I found, though. When we have the speed boats in the water. Right here we have the walkway to a very unique backyard. It's not filled like I usually have mine. It's kind of nice and open. And right here we have like a practice golf hole. It's 90 blocks, probably a par 3. And this is a golf hole. A mock golf hole. Which I really like. So... You know, maybe I'll show that off really quickly, just because, why not, right? So this is basically the logistics of how it would work as soon as I can figure out what inventory spot I'm at. You know. I'm bound to get it one of these times. Okay. So you would start here. And then you know, just kind of throw this. I threw that way too far. So you stuck in the trees, you get a penalty. Then you shoot for the hole. Hole. In the tree again, whatever. So that's kind of how Ender Golf would work. And that's cool. So now we're going to go back around to the beginning of the golf course, loop around here. And you can see the pathway kind of leads to this mowed lawn. And back to the little patio area. And we have a lawnmower right here, one of my own designs. I like it a lot. Let's see, it's nighttime, and we're about to fit, you know, I'll sleep, just for the sake of sleeping. Actually, it's not going to matter, because there's other people on the world, now that I think about it. So sorry about that, guys. Oh, they're all sleeping. That's considerate of them. They're usually not. So... Yeah, thanks guys, I appreciate that. And right here we have our private tennis court right here. 
right here we have our privacy time report right here. That's that's just something to marvel at. Like, I swear to god, I've speak I've spoken English my whole life. And that's probably the worst sentence I've ever made. But anyway, the private tennis court over here has really cool fence and design. I took inspiration from uh, Matt's Purple House, which will never be toured for obvious reasons, if you've seen the world. No offense, Matt, but you kind of agree with me. And I love this fountain right here. It's like shooting water everywhere. I love that feature. And the last feature in the backyard and of the house is the fire pit. And I love the fire pit, it's just like a modern fire pit, nice gravel, some benches. But yeah, that's it for the house tour. It really flew by. So, remember guys, I put a lot of effort into it, so I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed if you're new, you know. Comment what you thought, add it to your favorites even. Tell all your friends about it. Anyway, this is Kevin from Team Prepref saying have a good night. Okay.